good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on compressors today we are going to discuss the working of reciprocating compressor see this is the piston cylinder arrangement when when the piston is at the top dead center for example initially the piston is at the top dead center when it is start move downward that is called the suction stroke during suction stroke when the piston move downward the inlet valve open and at that time the delivery valve remain close and when it is move when it is open and the piston start move downward the low pressure create and the atmo you know the air outside air is at atmospheric pressure inside air is below atmospheric pressure so that the air enters into the cylinder and this happen when the piston almost reach and this happen and this you know suction happen till the piston reaches to bottom dead center once it reaches to the bottom dead center inlet valve close of course the delivery valve remain close and the piston start move upward that is called uh, compression of the air and this compression of air takes place till the piston reaches to top dead center almost the piston reaches to top dead center the delivery valve is remains close once the piston almost reaches to top dead center the delivery valve open and this compressed air under high pressure is sent to the con container at constant pressure once the air is sent to the container there is no there is no air inside the cylinder and it start move downward at that time that is called suction stroke at that time the delivery valve close and the in inlet valve open again so that means the next cycle is repeated it the inlet valve open remains the uh, remains open till the piston reaches to bottom dead center that is called suction and when it start move upward from the bottom dead center this inlet valve close and compression takes place till piston reaches to top dead center the uh, you know delivery delivery valve is remains close once it reaches to the top dead center the delivery valve open this air under high pressure is sent to the container this is the cycle of operation and if i represent the same thing on a pv plot for example this is the pressure and volume and you know c1 is the suction c1 is the suction stroke so c1 is the suction stroke that means inlet valve open and air enters the compressor at constant pressure p1 at constant pressure p1 the air is entering into the compressor and 1 to 2 after reach after reaching the bottom dead center that is moving upward that is compression stroke that is a polytropic compression polytropic compression of air from p1 to p2 so that means from p1 pressure to p2 pressure the compression takes place 2d 2d discharge of compressed air through the delivery valve see at constant pressure at constant pressure the you know the air is discharged to the container at constant pressure p2 and the next dc dc no air in the cylinder as it is having no clearance volume see here we are not taking any clearance volume we are not providing any clearance volume here when the piston reaches to top dead center if any volume is present between the top dead and you know piston top side and the cylinder head that is called clearance volume but we are not providing any clearance volume here when the piston reaches to top dead center there is no volume there is no gap between cylinder head and the piston piston almost touches the cylinder head so if there is no gap here there is no air after delivery there is no air here no air in the cylinder uh, as there is no clearance volume after it after delivery of air after delivery of air no air in the cylinder then no air in the cylinder after delivery of air then pressure falls to p1 if there is no air automatically the pressure falls to p1 from p2 to the pressure all directly falls to p1 because there is no air here if air is there during uh, suction this air which is compressed air which is compressed in the previous compression stroke get expand that means um, you know this air is under high pressure it is will expand so that it will affect the suction stroke that's why there is no clearance volume we are providing here so after delivery of air you know the pressure falls to p1 after delivery of air there is no air so the pressure directly falls to from p2 to p1 and pressure falls to p1 hence suction start then once there is no you know there is no air the pressure is p1 and the piston start move downward suction valve open that means inlet valve open suction takes place so hence suction start when the piston move downward when the piston move downward the suction starts this is the working and the representation of the reciprocating compressor on pv plot with no clearance volume thank you very much